Yeah. Hello and welcome to Runner's Fortune and the Library of Taba. Yeah. Where we last left our adventures, you all had arrived. Uh, you had uh, gotten a little bit of help in arriving at the city of Omodano through the uh, teleportation circle back in the fortress, the esoteric fortress, and you all uh, arrived in the city of Omodano. And you arrived in, uh, well, not quite the way you were expecting to arrive. You uh, landed literally in the middle of a council meeting of the um, board of directors of the school of Omodano, which is also the uh, ruling party of the entire country of Trorakia. <laughs> and uh, when you got yourself into a little bit of a fun there, but you were able to uh, get taken away from <clears throat> from there by um, Absidy's old mentor, uh, who uh, they may have taken something from um, many, many years ago. She was uh, quite upset about this. Um, and, well, you all agreed that you would either return the, um, the book, her, her book of spells that she had, um, or that you would allow her to accompany you to the Library of Taba. Or, I think those were the, the main things. You would either... Yeah, we could also prove as if she said... Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. And that she could handle it if you could provide proof of who had it. Yes. Who has her book. You all agreed, um, because otherwise you feel like she might have helped you out the window behind her. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> <laughs> and only a few of you would have uh, survived that. Uh, the one of you that has fuckball and the one of you that has wings. <laughs> I would die. <laughs> yeah. And even then, you think you might have just turned into target practice for her. <laughs> um, <laughs> and um, with that, uh, you all were ushered out of the office and said, okay, let's go to the library. We're going to start trying to figure out what we need to do with this. Kaylee felt a tingle in the back of her mind, like when you guys first arrived back at the Esoteric Fortress. A, and the tingle of a very strong point of power from Ate. And she was going to go investigate that first. But that is where we left you all. Oh, all right, well... This is why I went to school for a year. <laughs> quite fun, I guess, to say that. Really not, I was making fun of the whole time I was here. You were making fun of the whole time? I did like reading, I wanted to become, you know, my yeah. worst in the magic. Stuff with me in middle school. <laughs> so, I wouldn't play, I wouldn't have lunch, I actually study, and that is why our now put me in as a apprentice, if you will. And gave me access to her, her office. And that is how I got in trouble, so. Yeah. But you were like five, though, right? Pretty well, well, six, I'm sure, yes. Okay, six by that point. But still. Yeah. No, that was a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, I mean, um. me, no, so. Exactly. So, I think I'm ready. We're gonna make our way to the library to. See, because uh, I'm pretty sure we want to um, do some spells that we are not able to yeah. have and utilize that to get Kazo back to Shilton. Yeah. 
probably a good idea. <laughs> She's the other person you promise you'd do something for. Yeah, yeah. we have a lot of promises, but mm -hmm. no, we should stop making promises. <laughs> <laughs> we get a lot of shit for not doing anything. Because <laughs> I think we also promised Brooks there we were going to tell him everything that happened. So we didn't tell him about it. Which all did nothing. It was a really nice family call. It would never hurt a fly. Got some secrets. <laughs> <laughs> You're the uh, most secretive on all. Because the voice show draft doesn't actually know what he's putting about his back. Yeah. I'm an open book. <laughs> I cause trouble on my own. Your problem, child. <laughs> also, I feel like that if that's what we would like to do. Yeah, mm -hmm. my brother. I think that's what he would get along. <laughs> I feel like our team is an Ash, probably as well. Yeah. Let's do a side quest with the three of them. How much trouble can the three of us get into? No, we can't go there. I'm sorry. <laughs> and, 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 right. I'm not, I'm not allowed there. Everybody's sorry. Yeah, start crossing off the map of places that somebody is not allowed to go to. Um. Okay. Yeah, we can we can head to the library first. Maybe send Kaylee off to follow. And she 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 did go. Oh, she did. Okay. Yeah, yeah. and then I'll uh, she'll be at the library. That day, we had told her about all her croissants. <laughs> she'll find her way. <laughs> Just smell it. Smell the smell of the smell of croissants. Do we want to go grab more croissants before we go to the library? Croissants. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll be fine then. Is it on the way? <laughs> <laughs> Everything's on the way. We'll see these celebration circles everywhere in Omadano. That's fair. Well, everything is in and out of the way. It'd be really confusing if you were. And we could access them all. Put your hand in one teleportation circle and show them somewhere else. <laughs> it's okay, that's how it works. Oh, it is in my mind. It's oh. not a portal, it's a teleportation circle. It's a different. What happens if you're not standing all the way on the teleportation circle? Then you get split in half. <laughs> That's important. Yeah, it is. Uh. <laughs> Just a hand pops up somewhere else. <laughs> so, you all have arrived at the nearest teleportation circle, which you've used many, many times before. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Where do you want to go? Well, let's just go to the library. That's good to me. Mm -hmm. It's like this way. Follow the steps that he is. The, uh, so the portal opens, and it, or the, the circle activates. Um, everything around you glows, and uh, as it dims, you realize very quickly it's not the library you're used to. Instead, you're standing in a small room. About 25 feet, 25 feet. Um, there's a boarded up window behind you over there. There's a door, one door over there. And there's a really big fat man standing in front of you. Uh... Uh, Hello, my adventurers! Welcome yeah. back! How are you all doing? How's your journey going? Uh, Do you love it yet? Is it all the fun that you thought it would be? Uh, well, uh, it's not been fun. No! No, we keep trying to get killed, apparently. This place is full of dead ends. <laughs> Well, the way you look very good. Well, the story didn't say anything about all the dead ends. It sounded like you had a marvelous time. Yeah, well, history is not always the smoothest at telling the truth. I see there's a few of you less. So, I would say you're probably in the city of Omadonna. Am I right? I don't like you. <laughs> it's all right. You don't have to. I love all of you. Uh, Why don't you just tell us what we need to do? You know the answer. Well, was. Magic Fat Man didn't have a sack of presents. <laughs> <laughs> he did last time. <laughs> <laughs> He's just missing the big giant white 
cares? <laughs> It's Rowie as an example. Yeah, you said that. Yeah, it's Rowie. It's more than five o'clock, so it's fun. But, but that, would, that would ruin it. You would just you would skip to the end, and the rest of the story wouldn't happen. And, oh, I loved the whole story. Well, I guess. How is Arminel, by the way? Well, not angry. No, oh, that is good. That is good. Maybe she'll forgive me. What did you do? Really? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. We may have a, we made a fool of her once or twice. <laughs> she tells me to a duel. Doesn't matter that I simply am better. Okay, well, um, why are we here? What happened? And where are we? Here? Yeah, where is here? I mean, you can recognize here. This this is the oh, same room where you, uh... Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, oh that's <laughs> <laughs> You didn't hear that bitch dead! The window. Windows <laughs> <laughs> are bad at reading signs. <laughs> this is the room where you, uh, you know, turned, um... <clears throat> Alisair into... Um, or not Alisair, um... Shit. Allerton. Allerton. Yeah. Too many A names. <laughs> I got to stop it. doing that. Yeah. Get that stuff. You, uh, you put Allerton through the slicer. And, uh, well. Turn him into a zombie. You need to watch the other episodes. <laughs> no, this is more fun. <laughs> <laughs> Not knowing is the best. <laughs> this is how you should come into a group. Not knowing what happened in the previous episode. So still, the point still stands. Why are we here? Well, I hadn't heard from you in so long, and I was, I was getting worried. So I had to check in on you. This was the, the next unprotected teleportation trip that you took. It's easy enough to just intercept the signal and bring you here. Of course, I'll send you right back. This is interesting. It was a little easier than. You know, projecting my image onto every reflective surface in the city like I did last time. Yeah, that was concerning. <laughs> I still carry a mirror just in case I need to call you. Good! You should do it more often. Because I really do miss you all. I guess it would be nice to check in with you. Okay, yes. Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now that you have seen us. Yes, yes. Is there, is there anything you want to tell me? Any juicy details? I think you're getting to an interesting part. I feel like we're always getting to an interesting part. And then we decide to go do something else. Well, what's our biggest problem? It's, it's always possible. How's your brother, by the way? He's fine. Good, good. The rescue was as daring and dashing as uh, the book said it was. No, it was actually pretty boring. That's no fun. <laughs> I mean, we didn't really do what he did. Yeah, we just walked out of there. Yeah. There might have been a blood stain on the snow when we got out, but you know, that's it. <laughs> it was so noble of you to travel all that way just to free your brother. Yeah. But it didn't say how you found out he was there. So, how did you find out that he was there? I mean, it was a you, were, you were at, you were at Monza, and then you just walked all the way into Valencia, and, 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 and your brother was there. So tell me, tell me, what happened? It was a little sketchy on the details there. I'm sure it was. In the book? Yes. No, they only tell part of the stories. There's more? No, yeah, please. Boring one. You must tell me. We had our horses with us, he didn't tell you that. <laughs> um, we were also looking for someone else, but then we found a brother and... Oh, and we who were you looking for? Oh, I think his name was... Uh, <laughs> he was the... The ruler of the city of... Uh, the fortress of Eli Tri-City. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> You're part of that in your books, correct? No. No, I haven't. What is you like tricide eye? Oh. Yes, it is a we don't know. <laughs> this is just a name for the city. Mortals. <laughs> we just learned about it, but we had to leave because there's you know, we have to find the library of Taba. Oh of course, of course. There we couldn't have we just left our sick friend there to be taken care of. At the fortress of the electricity. I see, I see. She's sick? That would happen. Well, if the ghost does not, not say. Hey, Fact. The book just said that you left her behind. Oh no. We are not those kind of people. Maybe you should bring the book that you're reading and make it <laughs> as we go along right now. We'll put notation. Yeah. Oh, I, I am making all the notes right now. Yeah, but there is this. You, you can't see it, but. My my quill is fly in the other room. <laughs> well, it was it was very terrifying. There was someone changing shape. A shape changer. Different Ooh. The plot thickened. Paralyzed her. Then disappeared. Another plot thinning. Another plot thinning. <laughs> 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 now. While in the city of Omadana, I can give you a, a few things. Just watch out for the big blue one. He's, uh, like this. he's a big one. That would be that we're supposed to be wary of, but... I mean, you don't need to be wary of him. Just, he's a handful. He's uh, ready to charge headlong into problems, including your problems. <laughs> Those problems. Just, just, you know. Be friendly, but accept that he's gonna be a handful. I feel like we're all a handful, but... <laughs> no, you all are wonderful, wonderful. Okay, but this other person is not wonderful. Who is wonderful, just a handful. <laughs> Only one wonderful, not two wonderfuls. Oh, okay. He's a wonderful handful. You all are wonderful, wonderful. You need to learn more adjectives. <laughs> Why? Wonderful is such a wonderful word! But there's many ways to be wonderful. <laughs> well, while we are here... Yes, of course. Do you by chance... Castle, you know Castle. You should have the Castle. Castle, Castle, yes, yes. yes. The, uh, the... Little Green? He's a little, he's a little Green guy. Mm. Yes, he is. I mean, most things are little to me. And, uh, well, he is Green. Yes, yes. I suppose he could be a little green. <laughs> well, by chance, do you know where he roams or takes his cart to? He's the, the wandering salesman, yes? Yeah. Yes, yes. I'm sure there's many of them, but I don't know how many of them are little and green. So it's one of them. Well, it sounds like he's... Quite a powerful person as well. Who oh, is he now? Well, this is news to me. Insight? Go ahead. Uh, Anyone else want to help? Sure, I will assist. Insight, insight, insight. You guys know his name? The person you're talking to? Works there. Works there. I'm going to get a lot of fun. <laughs> Yeah, probably is the one. One higher. Another one. They're all the same exact thing. I went one higher. Yeah. Inside. Uh, that's better. Thank you. Twenty nine. Sixteen. <laughs> well, um, it was better than the six that I rolled before. <laughs> You both actually believe he's telling the truth at the moment about not knowing more about Kozel. All right. Well. Fine. <laughs> well, Do you know anything about Count Krista? I dabbled with him. He uh, may have 
spent a night in the city, yeah. Well, just recently. Two weeks, a week ago, I yeah. believe. How did that go? Well, we had a small chit chat and I met him at, at his dinner for a few minutes. Well, that was all. That was all. It's a little green as well. Go ahead. I inside check that one. Do you want to help me? Anybody? <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> I got good inside action. Yeah, great inside. Well, but I always find <laughs> all your luck on the inside. Well, yeah, he's the girl in the dark plus chair. Uh, I got a thirty-one. Okay. Seven. Okay. Yeah, when she's down and she nudges me, so I go, I actually. <laughs> <laughs> just whisper it in your ear. Guys. Yes, Raven, um, you have no idea. <laughs> Absidy, um, yes. you definitely get the feeling that it was more than a quick little stop in for dinner. <clears throat> no. <laughs> Take three. <laughs> 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 well, well, maybe in your book you should in include Kazel because we are potentially going to try to find him. Well, he does come up a few times. Oh, okay. Is he more important than somebody you buy some odds and bubbles and trinkets from? I think it is quite powerful. Yes. Tell me more about this. Well, we don't know more about this. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing. We've just been told. We don't know. I mean... You should charge it relatively. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are we getting any intel from the commission? Like? <laughs> um, I'm just happy he's not killing me. Yeah, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I my pants and I saw them. <laughs> oh, what did that smell in here? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, when was the last time you took a bath? <laughs> That's what it's used for. <laughs> no other You're the medicine chat. You can poop yourself. Uh, no, that's... But... Still looking for the out. I think we might have been. Just someone. We could have been dead. You could have been dead. Um, because yeah. we didn't the do mind. the mind. The mind. Uh... Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. If if you had submitted to the mind probe instead of the uh, truth spell, yeah. then you would have passed it to that right? Yes. What the head council member? The 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 head guardsman. Oh. Uh, Inquisitioner. Yes, 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 the head Inquisition. Well, very well, my adventurers, unless you desire to spend a, a night or two or ten back here, which, of course, you are always welcome. Your rooms were always prepared. I think we're okay, thanks. Very nice. Yes, Except for the slaves under the stairwell. Yeah, I didn't know who Yeah. And you have a whole living in the rich section of the city where everything else is muddy and terrible. That was nice to move on. <laughs> but uh, no, you know, this, we, we were really have not been doing a great job. Yeah. No, no, I believe you've been doing a stellar job. Otherwise, the book would have been far too short. Yeah, 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 it's just taking us forever to get to one place. I mean, we're not doing that great of a job. Well, as I understand it from the book, this one place is a very hard place to get to. Yeah, sure. So, uh, as you wish, I shall send you all back. Fairly well, my adventurers. And it flashes out of sight again for you. And uh, as your vision returns, you are back standing in front of the library now. Right. That was fun. <laughs> but, um... I don't like it when people hijack teleportation circles. <laughs> <laughs> but you did also get another piece of information from there. Is... You did say unguarded teleportation, which means that the teleportation stuff that you did 
Bronzy at the Territorious. Completely guarded. There's uh, got to be some kind of protections on those stopping that from happening. <laughs> Um, I don't know about you know, te- teleportation circle. This is the biggest school. Yeah, they should what be able magic. to get hijacked the wheel. In the world. In the world. <coughs> and we just got it stolen. Yeah, that's probably not <laughs> Children use these. And, and, <laughs> and, and you were also on an internal teleportation, you weren't even on the, this one shouldn't have the power to get you further away than the city. Oh, and you went over two countries. That many people that could probably achieve this. <laughs> but there is a law in their system. Yes, and they should fix it. By tuition money. I'm <laughs> 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 With into the library. Um, I guess I'll probably know this. Are we able to write down a spell that's more powerful than we are able to cast, utilize, what supplies would we need? How you, this work? you are able to notate it, collect it, etc. You are able to understand it. Um, and depending on the method at which you did so, you may be able to cast it. If you were to create a, a scroll or a page or um, an item that was imbued with the essence of the spell, you could consume that item in order to cast that <coughs> one time. Um, now, the capability to create one of these is also a very high power thing. It yeah, would be... We'd have to go back to our little uh, snippery. That's, that, that's an option, yep. Um, they yeah, may be able to... Cast a spell into it while it's being created. They... So, um, truly magical books, of which this library has many of, um, contain the essence of the spell already. Okay. You could rip out a page <laughs> and run away with it and use that as your page okay. that contains the essence of the spell. Um, this is not the kind of library you check the book out. Not, not and leave the grounds. <laughs> check the book out, yes. Not, and not, uh, not leave the grounds of the city afterwards, though. Yeah, yeah but fate it would just teleport back inside the city and could try it. There, there are some safeguards in place for that. Well, um, yeah. But uh, there are uh, a, a protected <laughs> teleport, depending on the protections placed on said teleportation, okay. may be able to uh, circumvent those. Um, also, there are people at this school who may be willing to inscribe it for you. Um, Because they do encourage learning and practice and things like that. And so you may be able to go to any number of teachers or even just fortune students and either pay them or do something for them. Or some of them may just go, yeah, sure, why not? And they may create it for you. They don't have like a magical printer. (laughs) I'll create them for you. No. <laughs> to print the words on it, that. yes. Can you get all kinds of money from that? <laughs> the words on it, yes, but not to uh, print the essence of the spell into it. Maybe we look for someone who looks very studious, studying very hard in the books. We can try. We got some magical items. Yeah. And, and you do know that the, uh, the magical item behind the scenes trading is uh, very common. That's true. Here. And in fact, the school has said they will sell any magical items that you create and give to them. They will then sell and you will get proceeds off of it. No, we do. I got some magical daggers that I don't know what they do. Um, six magical staffs. <laughs> Not being rid of the key, but the key is a very good key. Yeah, we're, we're not going to get rid of that one. 
I feel like maybe <laughs> we should go back to the forge and just deal more items or make more items. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there was an entire armory there. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have the space to carry it all. <laughs> Someone with a bag of holding may come in handy for that. Yeah. <laughs> That's all we're going to use you for. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have quite enough space for these things, magical staffs for a boat. <laughs> I mean, so how is this library lit up? So as you, so you step in the entrance to the library now, and... At, at first glance, it looks much smaller than you anticipated it to. Um, in fact, it's about the size of this apartment here. Uh, it's about a thousand square feet. It is, you can see two stories. And then, you look a little harder, and the hallways seem to stretch as you look down it. You realize that it's quite a bit bigger as you shift your gaze, it seems to shrink again. You would bet that there is some kind of spell on here, make it a little easier to get to where you're going. At this point, that a uh, large blue dragon spawn comes stumbling out from between two of the stacks, cursing under his breath as to why he can't find some damn section or another. Zach, would you like to uh, take over at this point? Now you can play this character for me. <laughs> <laughs> I hate libraries. They say they have all the information, and there's nothing here. I've just wasted, I don't know how many days, hours, whatever. I gotta go get a drink. Library. What are you looking for? Who killed my father? In the library? <laughs> I got it. I was told this library has information on all ancient dragons and their whereabouts, and who has partaked in either fighting them or successfully killing them. Hmm. But it seems the person who gave me that information wasn't correct. Do I know this section of the library? You, you don't know for sure the section of the library. Um, in your year there, you hadn't spent much time yeah. studying dragon deaths. Yeah. But um, you do quite believe that, sure, this library would probably have that information somewhere sort of there. That seems like something that would be studied by numerous mages. So you are quite confident that it is, in fact, here somewhere. Oh, wouldn't it be funny if it was um, the one thing? And do I know... <laughs> Navigation of this? You're a little out of practice, and you know that there's a trick to it. But you do know that it's something along the lines of <clears throat> focusing on the section you want to be, but you still have to have the right hallway, and then walking down that hallway, and it should get you there in about 10 to 15 steps, but... <laughs> You've just been wandering for days. From, from however far it actually is, but you need to have the right hallway and the right floor, and, and things move sometimes. What a pain in the ass. I relay all this information. <laughs> <laughs> so then you know this, then. Thanks. It would make it a lot easier for you. That, that Where the information does? <laughs> Maybe the librarian might be able to. Yeah, she's not going to be helpful because I screwed that around day two that I was seeing. <laughs> Okay. And I may have eaten garlic bread before I yelled at her. There's another librarian. I will pull a piece of garlic, I will pull a garlic clove out of my bag of old pages possibly. Do you have a garlic clove or a garlic head? Okay. Okay. Or a wig. Let's give it back holding. I was just going to like you're in there. Did you want, like, a garlic bread? You just want, like, garlic? No, it's legit garlic. Oh, okay. <laughs> it holds up better than bread. <laughs> garlic bread. Trust me. Now, I'm, I'm not used to this. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been in this library. 45 years. So, I wish I could say I could help you, but... Yeah, it's fine. I'll figure it out. Thanks, Fred. And I'm going to pat him on the back. 
Not knowing my own strength. <laughs> Whack. Alright. Um, make a... Uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll half my strength. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, I remember what happened last time I did that. <laughs> we won't even wound. They, they kind of did snap somebody's neck doing that. Yeah. <laughs> it was an NPC, but still. <laughs> funny. <laughs> Um, your, your shoulder is definitely a little sore after it, that it, brief exchange. Palm shape bruise on your back. Um, I know about it if you'd like. I can talk to the librarian. I have not the other two yet. <laughs> In here for literally a minute. That'd be helpful. Do you like garlic? I, well, you know, as a seasoning, yes, but as a meal, I can mash it up for you. That's okay. We just ate. All right. But I appreciate that. Well, I will wait here if you can get that information. I will make it worth your while. I'll be right back. Hey, garlic. <laughs> no, he knows the finer things to find. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you might have something. Else. I'll try to assist with uh, finding okay. the right hall, the right floor. Okay. Um, so you, you arrive at the uh, librarian desk. Um, quite easy to find. It seems that you take, you know, ten steps and you're there. And you look back and Dragon Slump's way over there somewhere, but apparently it worked this time. <laughs> and, uh, Librarian totally did it on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, man, help you. Well, I just got enrolled in the big college. Ah, uh, new student. New student orientation. Please uh, give me a moment. Well, no, I, I thought that. She ducked that, down behind uh, the desk. Yeah. And I, I mean, I'm re enrolling. For a skip tutorial button. <laughs> <laughs> this, is my, this is my second time. I've already done that part. <clears throat> Are you sure? Just the head, her head pops up. Yes, I don't know. This the, couldn't can vouch for me. Oh. Do so enjoy new students. <laughs> yes, but... I'm sure you don't get more sail in it. <laughs> so... <clears throat> um, I'm just trying to figure out the way... She stands back up again. First off, can you screw spells onto spells very easily? No. Okay, well then, uh, um, you can't help me with that one. Uh, I'm also studying about dragons and dragon slayers and oh, no. all of these things. <laughs> you aren't. No. I'm not. No, no I'm not. No. <laughs> <laughs> it is just for research or a... You're not friends with him, are you? Who is him? I'm not his friend, no. The blue one over there. <laughs> the blue one, the garlic one? He's taking <laughs> here. Yeah, I, I, against the I do not know this person. I'm good. He screamed at me for two and a half hours. <laughs> and spewed lightning all over. Wow, what a jerk. Wow, wow. And <laughs> Sounds like a handful. <laughs> You just let him stay? Is he a student? No. He's got special permission. Oh. Why didn't you just help him find what he was looking for? So <laughs> he would leave. I told him where to go. <laughs> oh, he should have uh, probably just taken his hand and led him there. Well, if... I mean, I could be of assistance to you. And get him out of here if you just... Tell me. Third corridor. Third corridor. <laughs> Don't think about anything. <laughs> it's the first section on the left. <laughs> In fact, the book he's looking for, <laughs> four shelves from the top, third book in. How far are these bookshelves? About 30 feet. Oh. There are ladders all over. Okay. Put <laughs> okay. a shelf on the top. <laughs> okay. It's literally three steps from the end. Wow. You just don't need to go further. 
I would only hope so as an actual student here. The first day back. That took still took some time off. You were accepted, <laughs> therefore. He has a knowledge of one. He does a first day. So, yeah, well, thank you very much. And uh, ooh, where could I go that. For all these students who want to trade for magical items, the riffraff of the magic world. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, let's look a coin in. I'm try to. <laughs> um. See where's my money because I don't have much of that either. <laughs> uh, put money. Where's money on this sheet? Uh, equipment. Oh, uh, some equipment. Yeah. Um. Oh, jeez. Yes, I have much money. <laughs> am I close enough to hear the conversation? Or am I farther? Depends on how hard you're listening. You're, you're about 60 feet. Okay, never mind. Then. This would not make sense. Okay. I mean, if you're listening really hard. I was just going to go up and intimidate her. Maybe give the information. We can call her. Yeah. So I've got this uh, minor healing stone here. That she made like <laughs> months ago. <laughs> Still works. I don't have this ability to work. <laughs> Another person just really carries around the rock. Yes. <laughs> it's another person anymore. I see. Are you attempting a check with this? Yeah. <laughs> Would you like my I mean, it's probably going to be a. I'm probably lying. I mean, I am lying. <laughs> you, you, you can make a charisma check in your choice. Yeah, I mean, gotta be. Yeah. Yeah. Kyle. Kyle. <laughs> okay, well, I have advantage on those because... You do. You do. I'm that guy. Yeah, I pump a lot into it. Well. Seven. Okay. Um. <clears> hmm. <throat> I see. Well, they definitely wouldn't be meeting tomorrow night. They definitely wouldn't be in the North Commons. And if you wanted the really good stuff, it definitely wouldn't be the night <coughs> after. It wouldn't be in the North Commons again. And it definitely would not be in the North Commons. So it happened yesterday in the South Commons. Well, thanks for your help. Don't mention it. And uh, we won't. Yes. Definitely will not. And I will take out your friend for you. I appreciate that. Great. <laughs> Excellent. I don't like this stuff. Oh, oh. I don't want to leave, bring the books out. Pretty sure I was going to just ask these kids. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's fair. I mean, because you, you, can, you can remove the books from the library just can't without any problem. Now with them. Yeah. yeah. I'll figure if we got enough writing. Done. We can come here with them and they can do it for us. I'm afraid to take anything right now. <laughs> I got in trouble the last time. <laughs> the book. Are, are we allowed to check out books with these passes? Yes. Okay. Double checking. And then I head back to the dragon. 
He's got patches of fur everywhere, too. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very weird looking dragon. Why is he a patch of fur? Some feathers. Oh. <laughs> That's weird looking. It's, it's like mainly, like it's mainly dog. <laughs> kind of. It's more so like half of his face. Most of his face is covered in fur except for being eye patch. So if you think like a boxer, he's <laughs> just got dragon scales, and then his tail is pure dragon scales. Everything else is fur. Okay. You just like to be furry. I do. <laughs> you like not very good at that. He's not. <laughs> I'm my way back. Okay. Oh, I guess we could do that. I feel like we can. Yeah, I mean, yeah, follow along. Um, oh. oh, good news. Yeah. I can find a book for you. That's awesome. I'll put them on. Oh, that was very nice. <laughs> you help me, I help you. Wow. You sure you don't want any garlic? I, 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 I can buy my own now. I'm much appreciated. <laughs> uh, my name is Absidy. Name's Coda. Coda? It is a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. <clears throat> um, well, follow me this way. Uh, we'll... Are you sure? Last time I went over there, I started thinking about garlic. Uh, no, that <laughs> uh, if, if you don't think about anything, it's kind of hard not to. I, I really like. It. I understand. If you want, I can get the book for you and bring it back. If I'll flip it with another silver. <laughs> <laughs> you should just wait in the hallway. <laughs> that was my plan. <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, when you guys have to come along, see how this library looks. Yeah, yeah I'll follow along. Yeah, we go to the uh, third corridor. Uh, I don't, just don't think about anything. I'll actually be uh, leery to have the library. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and then every now and then my dragon like tongue will come out and lick my eye off. <laughs> just to make her uneasy. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, I go to the first one on the left. Go to the fourth shelf from the top. Third row in. I think you're talking a lot easier than I did. <laughs> Bring out the book. <laughs> uh, what's the title? Um, it is uh, Ancient Dragons of the Aurelian Horde. Oh. And the powerful patterns. <laughs> I like one of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah like, oh, she's a dragon in there, even more. She survived in her quarters, I mean. Yeah, this library, it's very strange. If you know which power to go down, you think about what section you need, and you're there. Okay, so the easiest way to find the sections when you're first starting is probably just to ask the librarian where to go? I know all of it is. Okay. <laughs> it's not a help tech. And then remember. <laughs> you can <laughs> there and play. Until something moves. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, back to Coleman. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's... I would check it at him, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> she said chuck it at me. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to have it. It's... Too nice. Yeah. Just from being too polite. Don't eat me. Is this the book that you were looking for? It was really hard to buy. Especially when you're thinking about garlic. Um, I, know okay. I know you're making fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> this was actually it. Thank you. Yes, uh. Just see if the librarian is looking because. He doesn't know he can not take these books out. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he's just going to slowly put it in his pocket off. Slide a hand check. That's a 16. Okay. Um, I assume all of us with a higher perception than that saw that happen. Yes, yeah. Oh, huh. Level three is small. <laughs> What are you talking about? I was too funny. Another non-total bird. Another shot. So how do you, what do you plan on doing next once you figure out who killed your father? Who finally you killed? 
It's there. Have you been training? How old was it? Plus, plus. How old are you? Good? Really old, right? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, quite an ancient. Yeah. <laughs> Archaic, even. Um, the, the youngest ancient dragons are tens of thousands of years old. Right. He was old. Yes, it was ancient. It's an impolite question. Really yeah. um, he just gave me this really cool bag. Well, and while you're... Do you plan on taking this mission on yourself? Do you have an army? No, I'm pretty powerful. I haven't asked for help. Because every time I do, they just don't live up to expectations. Now, the rest of you are, are aware of ancient dragons, and you are also aware of that typically armies, plural, are required to take down an ancient dragon. <laughs> Not even wondering about the uh, hordes and hordes of dragon spawn that they have with them. Um, for there to be one person who killed his father, assuming that this is true in the first place. <laughs> um, he said that is his father. <laughs> um, then this one person would have to be Kozel or Cheltron or someone else that probably came from their country. Yeah, that's also ancient. Yeah. Or a deity. <laughs> right, Dad, are we all lost? Yeah. Well, so either this blue dragon is full of himself, or he's also on par with Castle <laughs> and Shelton. Or he's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> His wisdom is 10, so he's not that stupid. <laughs> and pride is 100. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> I got a really cool party trick. Um, well, you know, someone, if a single person has killed your father, they will be very powerful. Not saying that you are not. Oh, I know. He's probably more powerful than me. Yes. Right. It'll take a lot of magic or a lot of people to overpower him. We are actually looking for someone very powerful. We are. I wonder if it's the same person. That would be lame. <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it would be funny, but... Is there someone you want to kill? Uh, well... Like no, actually, no. Really you don't want to? We, we want Kazal. Because oh. Kazal can kill someone. Oh, I was uh, thinking of the, the shapeshifter. Oh, and the shapeshifter. There's a lot of you, I, I guess. We <laughs> have a lot of people. You have a uh, It's like... I want to scroll a list of people who never want to <laughs> hurt. I mean, it's a list of two right now. It's probably going to grow, but... And I'll plot a second scroll of more people. <laughs> uh, do we find Kozel on that list? <laughs> you do not find Kozel on that list. Do we recognize any other names on the list? You do <laughs> recognize some of the names on the list. Um, remember, it's not in alphabetical order. <laughs> not in any order you can tell at this point. <laughs> No, that one goes first. <laughs> but you do see Allerton on there. Oh, you can check that one off your list. We killed him. <laughs> you take out a claw and just scrape the name through the paper. He is now... Because he is... Oh, completely dead. He was possessed. He, he was Alept for a little bit. And, yeah. I mean, he's still Alept. He still is an Alept, but... Yeah, he's just an actual invisible one now. Probably following us around cursing at us. <laughs> Go faster, damn it! <laughs> um, you see, um, Count Crystal. That guy's a jerk. I haven't killed him yet. 
From what I've heard, he seems like a real lovely person. Yeah, our introduction was... That seems like a story. It, it is. It is quite a story. Does this town have a bar? I'm sure uh, there's it, plenty. It, up here, it does not have a bar. It, it does have a a, a, a a very nice um, wine bar. Um, it also has a, a couple of champagne bars. And um, <laughs> you have to go to the city, under the city, to get bars. <laughs> <laughs> the way you said <laughs> Well, is there anyone else on the list that we recognize? You see Krem? I don't see nice. Oh, but he works for him. Yeah, Camper's down. Um, Bruce And that's what you see at the moment. Okay. Without sitting there and studying the scrolls for another half an hour. <laughs> you have a lot of people that you want to kill. How do you, how do you go about picking who to do first? Just who you come across? Information is key. For a person, they show me the next thing on my list. They go on from them. Okay. Well, we have some shady shit to do <laughs> tomorrow night. Yeah. So we'll be hanging out in the on campus. Shady shit. Kind of shady shit you gotta do. So we gotta bribe some students to. <laughs> Transcribe a spell onto a scroll for us. Well, work you. Tell us how to cast the spells if we can. As I said, information is uh, very important to me. You have uh, since scratched my back, and yes, I have only paid you two silver for that. But if you need some extra muscle, okay, I have to ask this: What is the group dynamic here? We don't have a spokesperson or a leader usually. No. We so it's more so body types. types. Huh? Body types. Oh, like body types. Okay, I'm strong. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a, a baby doll. I'm not sure. Like you're gonna be put. <laughs> <laughs> a, a legitimate baby yeah. doll doll. Yeah. Yeah. Dressed as a monk. Are you made of like porcelain? No, it's more like a pl- like old school plastic style, okay. like the hard plastic. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.
the top of the ones so cells as well. That's fine. Uh, just an insight, just because, you know, mm -hmm. we meet a new person of come along as in once we're on a street by ourselves or on a path between cities, get murdered. <laughs> <laughs> so far, I like you because you got my book for me. Yeah. <laughs> Still, just saying. And uh, anybody is your 19? Okay. Um, I mean, I'm guessing he's not alive. He's not. And uh, you feel that unless you had copious amounts of garlic on you, he's more likely to. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> but you feel like if you had a bunch of garlic in your pocket, you might be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> or at least you're probably right here. Yeah. <laughs> I have my rations to make sure they're not made of garlic. Vegetarian, you have bigger chances of having Yeah. Um, you're in the character. <laughs> well, you know, we have been having issues with our group, if you will. Um, and I feel... You've lost three members recently. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're... Your strength could definitely come in handy, and uh, and on your quest, I'm not sure how urgent it is for you. Probably that, but well, if you I've figure been, out, been on this journey for years, and everybody on the list that I've shown you has had some sort of hand in what they did, so. But. Well, if you can't find any information in your book either, my brother is also fairly knowledgeable and he might be able to assist. What's his name? Dyren. Cool. I'm going to look at my list. Make sure there's nobody under the tab. <laughs> you, you do not see a Dyren. <laughs> 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 Look at the dumbass, but. <laughs> well, we need to stay in the city for a couple more nights. Um. Then I think probably uh, tomorrow night after I think three days. Hopefully for we'll, we'll, we'll <coughs> what we need and be on our way. If you are interested in joining us, maybe then like before we leave, we can discuss plans of what where we're going. Yeah. Okay. I don't plan on leaving for a while. Enjoy your book. That's what I thought. I was supposed to make your memory better. That's what he thought too. He just got a new water taste for garlic. <laughs> it was recently carrot, so he's moved on now. Oh, okay. He's gotten really better now. Oh, good. His or carrots like, are all mine. They're scary. Oh, his vision. Yeah, his vision's gotten better now. <laughs> so now he's on garlic. <laughs> okay. What are the chances you think that I could? Sell my tattoo services here, or like magic students interested in that. You do tattoos? Are we still in the library at this point? Yeah. Yeah, I do tattoos. That's a weird conversation to have in the library, right? <laughs> 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 the library. The library. The weirdest look. We were behind us, and there's like students hiding around the corner. You do tattoos? Yeah. At the time, I'm still. Like, you do tattoos? Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, if you want a tattoo, I'm happy to give you one. Can you tattoo on dragon scale? I don't know, can I tattoo on dragon scale? You've never tried before. I can give it a try. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, really good practice. <laughs> I don't we want to go like outside? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it could. It might be a slightly different system to tattoo on scales as opposed to skin, but I'm sure you could get the ink in there somehow. I guess we'd go outside. Yeah, maybe we should. Yeah. <laughs> it's outside. It's uh, um, mid afternoon. Probably. Y'all drink? Absolutely. I don't need to drink. You don't need to drink, but you can drink. No? <laughs> I don't think he has a stomach. 
Now we'll have a couple of sips and then we shit face like <laughs> that's it, that's correct. Because then you don't have to spend that much money. Uh, there is that. <laughs> so I spent spend about 15 silver every time. Oh, At least. That's <laughs> before I get shit fixed. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of curfew. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, do we want to go find somewhere for like dinner? And- I'm gonna tattoo and um, ring. Yeah. Want to tattoo bars? Sure, we can find somewhere to see. No, can I tattoo the <laughs> spot on his arm? Arm chisel. Make a craft check for me. Perfect. What do you want? <laughs> Before you start tattooing your arm. Let's do a crescent moon. Okay. Nat 20. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm glad I loved that. You, you realize that tattooing on scale is actually easier than tattooing on skin. And you just fly through it, and it is a perfect crescent. Awesome. How's that? <laughs> it works, though. Perfect. I've been looking at each other. I'm going to pop it out can I like look around some a little bit while I'm doing this and see if anyone's like interested in what I'm doing? Uh, no one seems to be taking note at this point. Fair enough. Um, you know, there's all types of people here, so they they don't pay attention to anyone's background when they accept them here, just their magical prowess. Cool. So tomorrow night, for the night after, shade them tattooing. Yeah. Or magical items. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> I heard what you said. Let me try to verify what I heard what you said. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Insight check. Kitty shit. <laughs> <laughs> Do I need to roll? Yes. <laughs> That's gone. What am I... Guile, maybe. Charisma, kind? Yeah. 28. And not that 20. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> So you have uh, some magical items? No, we have some. Nothing is going to um, You're looking to see what they are? Possibly so? Yeah. I might know a guy. Oh, you might know a guy? <laughs> okay. Um, but he's in the other city. Is it Gabor? Yeah. Yeah, the Carcanoa guy. <laughs> I'm allowed. <laughs> Yeah, because he was scared of the war. I mean, there is that. He's trying to expand. <clears throat> I mean, do we want to try and get our magical items identified? We probably should so we can understand what they are worth. I can yeah. discount. Okay, yeah, sure. He's a little free. Alright, well. Probably cheaper for food and drinks down there, anyways. Yeah, I would assume it's probably a board. You get wood and board. Yeah, but wouldn't be able to stay up. I mean, you could cram all of them into your room. It it sounds like <laughs> Coda is fine down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> but if he doesn't like the scenery that's up there, but I can imagine. It's too bright. And who no, knows? It's, it's, what? And frou frou, and <laughs> he doesn't fit in very well there. Okay, I guess he doesn't look. Well. Oh, okay. My guy does not. But yes, 
I'm gonna try to see if these guys, but we'll look we'll around him. You don't have to do it today. I am staying at where's the place I'm staying? I mean, I can do it with a name. Yeah, it's gonna give a name. The Blue Bat Band. The Dollar Club. There you go. Uh, wrong to it. That's a why. <laughs> no, we can go there because I don't really know what these items are and we're going to be trading them potentially for, you know. <clears throat> well, we're not doing anything else today. Yeah, for I was wondering on the night after we tried to mm-hmm. get styles. I can't help you there. Yeah, that's why we need to go back up. Yeah, all right. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. So you're all going to head down to the... Uh, yes. Yonder. Perfect. So you arrive at uh, one of the teleporting circles to do it, and uh, there's a guard there. Halt. You all uh, heading down below? Yes, we are. Perfect. Student. Yes. You have a pass. Uh, I will pass. You have a pass? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Do I have a pass? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you figure that the writ of passage that okay. you gave you will probably I thought, suffice. I didn't know it. everyone. No, I, thought, I thought they did. Yeah. And I was to get in, but I didn't know. No. Oh, yeah. she, she still gave you a writ of passage as well. Yeah. Very well. Very well. Let me proceed. Thank you. And then... Oh, the Rick gets them back upstairs. The Rick will get them back in and allow you off campus grounds. Okay, okay. Very nice. <clears throat> Your student status will allow you back in any time you want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. We head down. All right. And uh, you teleport on down to the Undercity. And it is... Not what you were expecting. It's dismal. It's shantytown. Pretty much the whole thing through that you can see. Um, it's obvious where all of the money in the city goes to. Or right up there. Now, it's also not necessarily... It does not look like um, <clears throat> the uh, city you all started in. Um, Guitarist? Yes, Guitarist. It's not sloshy mud versus extreme riches like that, but it is definitely down here is poor working class and lacking of funds. A lot of homeless people. Right. I mean, not, not a ton of homeless people because they wouldn't end up typically staying here. Um, just huts instead of nice houses and things like that. Um, I will, if I can, show that I have a passion inside it. Um, take out kind of loaves of bread from the bag of holding. I'm going to partially stay alive and just put them outside of five huts as we walk on Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. And are you heading to the uh, the garlic clove right now, or are you heading to... No, because they wanted to get back up, so it was just going to take them straight to that. All right. <laughs> Alright, so you And... Uh, you arrive. <laughs> In front of a... Uh, an odd-looking building. It's quite slanted. Including the door, I mean, everything about it is just kind of turned. Good thing Artemius is not here. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a sign above it. D N two. Deadworks Magical Menagerie Two in small letters beneath it. You all go in. Yes. 
I, I just slam open the door and walk in. <laughs> All right. You step in. And with that, we're going to take a little bit of a break, and uh, we'll come back shortly. Hey everyone, thanks for watching our newest library of Taba video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and feel free to check out our other campaign going on right now, the Pillars of Cypetia. They're a pretty wacky group over there, and we have some real interesting shenanigans. Tune in next week, and we'll uh, see you then. Thanks!